the two keys from scripture that will help you to establish these three levels of dominion in your life and then other people's lives that are connected to you let me give you the keys there are many but i'll just give you two for tonight are you ready number one is to learn how to receive the wisdom of the spirit in the place of prayer please write it down the first way the first way to convert the things that god has said to be made manifest in your life is to use the weapon of prayer to tap into the wisdom of the spirit and know what you need to do to make that blessing manifest now the bible speaks generally about how to get answers for everything but there are unique instances in our lives whose solutions are not directly written in scripture this is where the wisdom of the spirit comes are we together there is nowhere in scripture where it is written how you should take care of four of your children or how you should heal cancer or how you should attend to your needs the place of prayer listen we pray for many reasons but i am telling you that one of the scriptural strategies end time strategies for believers is to know how to use prayer not just for intercession not just for transformation but prayer as a tool for ascendance that you can use prayer to ascend until you draw the wisdom of the spirit and download it a rhema word from god that you will obey immediately and it will make the word of god to be made manifest many believers study scripture but you do not know that most of the things that you read in scripture were inspired by the holy ghost and that same spirit lives in you but you must know how to stir up the operation of the holy spirit to reveal to you for instance when we're about to start here in abuja i've shared it with you and i keep sharing i was praying we did not even know where we'll be using for an auditorium for instance now that is not written in scripture there is a general guide as to what to do but now the unique word that provides solution and brings to pass what god has said and i kept praying in the spirit lord what is the way out i am frail in myself and in my ability you are the only one who will help me and while i kept praying one day a rema word came and the lord told me buy the map get a the map of abuja the map of nigeria the map of africa and the map of the globe and keep praying on it now it does not make sense but that is a rema word the prophetic word of God is now being converted to the experience and I went got it in obedience and all I kept doing was to pray in fact as at the time I was praying I had not yet even settled if it was Abuja I was still trying to confirm in my spirit it was one time I was praying and my eyes were lifted and I saw just when you are coming towards I think the stadium road also that map of Abuja that was when I saw it and immediately I knew that this was it but now that is step one how are you now going to begin to make things happen and then to pray in the name of Jesus how is this going to happen Lord reveal to me can I tell you this when you stay in the place of prayer and you stretch in patience waiting for the Lord his word will come when the word of the Lord comes, it comes with a solution for you. For someone, that word can come and God will tell you, call so, 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 I'm so person and just tell him about your needs. Ordinary, that is a failed strategy. But God will tell you and you will speak to the person and the person will say, you know, I was just thinking of someone to bless. How much is it? And you say, sir, I'm even afraid of saying it. He says, say it. It's 10 million. He says, come and collect it tomorrow. And you will kneel down there and say, God, what is this? It is a rema word. Most believers do not know how to stay until they get the strategy that brings prophetic words to come to pass. There are people who, in the place of prayer, God will tell you, go and get a bottle of water as a rema word and take it while you are praying. That will be the cure of that sickness it may not make sense but it's a rema word for you it's not a ritual to now start sharing for everybody 
is not a doctrine but it has come as a rima word you will carry that water and just take and that is the end of it that destructive sickness will never plague you again there are others god will say wake up by 12 in the night just walk around your living room sing praises just sing praises and you will get up by 12 you are still feeling the pain but because he said so you will be singing praises like a madman sometimes as a businessman all doors have closed you have done everything you need to know and to do and you will just be singing praises to the lord and while you are singing praises the pain goes never to return or while you are singing the praises an email will come and a lot will come you see that now it was in the place of prayer that god brought the word for the sound of revival that we did in uk it was in the place of prayer i knew that it was time we we're stepping into a season where we are now taking the kingdom and the power of god across the globe but to guess how you would do it you can fail as if god did not speak to you there are many people what you are doing is a wrong strategy but the goal is genuine god actually told you that this is what you would do but you did not stay to get the strategy you just assume that just because god said feed the hungry and you carry money and before you know it you are broke or god said you are a man of god you just assume that is to start a church and you don't have the bills nor the people to come and listen to you the first key that converts the prophetic speakings of god you want dominion over spirits dominion over sicknesses and diseases dominion over limitations economically speaking you must learn to invest in the place of prayer for the purpose of tapping into the wisdom of the spirit that is how i prepare some of the sermons that come of course there is a principle for preparing sermons but i take out time and pray and god is at liberty to interrupt my schedule and interrupt any series we may be ongoing with to be able to reveal after all we are all his people and he's the lord over the ministry we are organized people but not at the expense of the prophetic speakings of god he has liberty to interrupt at any time and bring forth that which is needed in the season hallelujah yes so they come to jesus and say this woman was caught in adultery in the very act of it the issue was not the woman the issue was to find a way of discrediting him and he keeps quiet and is writing and he looks at them wisdom he who does not have sin among you cast the first stone and that was the end of it how about his healing there were some that he spat on the ground and made spittle out of it put it on their eyes and said go and wash in the pool called Siloam there were others he spoke to them laid hands there were others he made a decree he even though he knew that he was God was with him and it was in his destiny to heal the sick he had to wait for every rema word do you see this is the difference between our generation and the generation of our fathers most of them were not very educated but they will wait till God speaks they will never take careless steps our generation is quite intellectual and in it sometimes we just ignore the place of the voice of god should i pursue oh god i know it is in my destiny to get to the promised land but how am i going to defeat them and you sit down and begin to pray you are singing songs of worship and sometimes in the midst of that prayer you will fall asleep it's not slumber is god putting you to sleep and you will have a prophetic dream and out of that dream will come the solution for the next level hallelujah you believe what i'm sharing with you so every believer who wants to be part of this dominion campaign over spirits over infirmities and over financial bankruptcy must know how to pray to tap into the wisdom of the spirit sometimes you are studying and you are praying and the holy spirit will lead you to a property that does not make sense and say just buy that land and leave it there you buy that land two weeks later someone else will come and they will want to buy it, even if it's ten times more they will say we need it wisdom hallelujah some of you sometimes the spirit of god will just speak to you 
and say you know what send a text to this person and just greet the person don't talk about money don't talk about a need and the holy spirit will say you just obey because it came in the place of prayer you see you just send a text and the person looks at you and says how are you i hope you are doing well and you say well not exactly well what is the issue i've been struggling for my rent and it's okay you know what for the next four years i will be paying your rent send me your account number and that's it simple instruction it came by the wisdom of god someone will look at your life and see that you may not have a job as it were but you are excelling in a way that they cannot understand is because you have learned how to pray listen we are a very busy people especially within the context of today's world but let me plead and beckon on you those who will be champions in the spirit in this end time are people who can stay away and take some time when you pray and get direction then you can take action taking action in ignorance or disobedience will only recycle pain there are men of god you have to stop don't just assume that because everybody is doing conferences i must do it too everybody is doing this there are people today who went to do charity and they became poor because they did not ask from god to get direction they carried all their money home and abroad and went to do charity and went down not to rise up again when god speaks there is honor that follows his word when god speaks there is power that backs what he says can i tell you except it is not the god of heaven speaking when he speaks you can trust what he says let me give you number two is someone learning we must become people of prayer there are many believers who pray but they do not pray with the consciousness of tapping into the wisdom of the spirit you can pray for transformation you can pray for warfare but there are times you can pray and imagine a man climbing a ladder while you are praying you are ascending to the spirit bringing your ears closer to the heart of god by the spirit then his word comes no do not do it this way do it this way do not do it this way do it this way oh you are taking this step hold on do it this way and you obey god with childlike faith and you return back with extraordinary results the people that you see that look invincible they are not necessarily extraordinary in themselves they have just learned how to wait until he speaks hallelujah the second key i will give you now and then we'll wrap up you want to step into this dominion is going to happen when you honor the people who God has placed this grace upon and that you can receive genuinely through hunger through service and through honor please listen to this as we wrap up there are dimensions in the spirit in as much as Christ died to make it available the administration of those graces depend on transference of mantles and graces from the careers of this grace to those who need them please believe me there are people today who embody the grace for wealth and abundance not by making empty noise it is a grace god gave them there are people today who god has placed his hand upon them unusual understanding into the realm of the spirit and how to administer victory over unclean spirits you will never tap into that grace dishonoring these vessels it is the reason why we advocate honor you see the reason why many people remain incapacitated because generally it's almost become a fashion to criticize areas that you do not see working in your life I don't know where we got that satanic campaign but i pray that that thing leaves the body of christ that when people find out that there is an area they are not stepping into they downplay it they demean it so you see someone talking and x-raying the issue of unclean spirits and talking with authority and that person cannot cast out a single spirit and liberate families empty talk without the grace of performance how about those who criticize there are people who have the f tree to criticize men like benny Hinn and shout over people and then you find out that they do not have the grace to heal even a common headache 
listen ladies and gentlemen let me teach you this you will never step into a dimension of grace you dishonor it's a principle that you must learn the moment you make it as part of your life to dishonor the body dishonor fathers dishonor carriers of this grace i'm not teaching human worship and sometimes i know that we men of god have found ourselves victims of subjugating people because of the little grace that god has given that in itself is wrong however anointing answers to honor anointing answers to genuine honor you can honor your way into realms where you access graces that can put you in charge indeed and part of what you're about to receive shortly is prayer to impart that grace upon your life i remember many years ago i used to see people pray and cast out devils and it was it was like i was watching a movie what in the world is this what sort of authority is this how do you command spirits to exit the lives and the destinies of people in my ignorance and limited knowledge i made up my mind from my spirit and seeing from scripture that i would step into this grace there has to be that understanding that releases that authority how about sicknesses and diseases i would watch benny him tl osborne charles and francis hunter these mighty men and you see their meetings you think they are joking until they make declarations and you see all manner of healings rain had bunker and i said come on god You're, the same lord is rich unto all there has to be something this healing anointing is real where is it lord bring it within my reach i remember buying the videos of charles and francis hunter buying their books tl osborne's books benny Hinn, because I could not access them directly but I said I will honor their materials and I will keep it side by side with scripture and then when it had to do with the grace for favor I initially kept looking at the grace for prosperity but I found that prosperity was a subset of favor you can have money without favor but it's impossible to have the favor of God upon your life and be bankrupt economically and I search for people when I found people like Dr. Mike Mudok, I camped around their teachings and said Lord whatever grace you placed upon this man there has to be a way out these are people who God has helped Kenneth Copeland God helped them I said no we have to camp around these things when this grace comes on you you know it has arrived you truly know it has arrived graces are transferable that's why nobody needs to remain in that low level we may not all be at the same level part time but everybody can enter a level that makes your christian experience a delight to behold hallelujah and in the next few minutes i want to pray over your life Many of you will be surprised that by reason of this impartation, you will go back home and they will tell you that someone has been manifesting under the influence of spirits. You will stand and you will think it's a joke. You will say in the name of Jesus and watch those devils leave in a moment never to return. And then you will see doors open over your family members. They will call you pastor and you say, I'm not a pastor. They say, that's, that's none of our business. Whoever can cast out a devil like this is our pastor. How about sickness there are some of you who will carry these hands that you see God has given you it's not just for eating you will carry these hands and lay it upon people and watch with wonder growths satanic manifestations in their bodies will just dry up like that and they will ask you what happened and you will tell them it's true that God gives gifts to men God can give gifts to men God can empower men and then some of you when the grace for favor rests upon your life i heard one of our dear sisters who was testifying here you will marvel and wonder it does not take long for this to happen you will see god moving in your life in a way that will surprise you ideas you did not think of downloaded in your spirit strategies by the spirit on what to do and what not to do all it be it by the spirit i want you to rise in one minute and you are going to pray one prayer and then I pray for you. Father, 
in the name of Jesus I open up my heart and I open up my spirit to receive the impartation that positions me to manifest this kingdom authority even within this end time I want to be an effective battle axe I want to be an effective believer not just one who comes to receive in church but one who one who becomes an extension of that power go ahead and pray once upon a time the disciples could not cast out spirits once upon a time the disciples could not pray for the sick once upon a time they could not enjoy and experience the blessings of the Lord but something came upon them go ahead and pray take a minute to pray ladies and gentlemen a global family connecting from across the globe this is what God wants to do in this season dominion over unclean spirits bringing liberty to men ministering the spirit releasing families releasing captives dominion over sicknesses diseases infirmity death dominion over economic financial limitations that have plagued the body of Christ someone pray hallelujah 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 hey. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey. Salabarato Sagra de Gedelos. Pray. hallelujah please look up is it possible to truly walk in the experience of authority over unclean spirits yes do you have to be a man of God to access that privilege in terms of ministry no in terms of knowing God yes can you have authority over sickness this is untimely death yes sir is there a grace that can enhance that reality yes sir can you walk in favor that elemental forces within your territory are compelled to bow and deliver its riches to you yes sir is there a grace that controls that possibility yes sir can men receive it yes can it be made manifest here and now? Yes, sir. I'm saying that because this is what you are about to receive. So open up your spirit as I pray for you. And then we wrap up the service. Father, you have placed this prophetic word in my heart for the body of Christ. That there is a need to come into a higher spiritual understanding. And then to access the requisite grace. I'm praying right now for a man of God here. I'm praying right now for a businessman here. I'm praying for a prophet, an apostle, an evangelist, a pastor following from some nation where your life has been barren of the experience of what the word says should be as a result of the finished work of Christ. I decree and declare authority over unclean spirits receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now that from tonight in the name of jesus you will not have to bring them to joshua selman that you will stand as a priest that you are and make declarations and this grace will speak for you 
in the name of Jesus Christ number two in the name of Jesus I first pray for you the sickness that will kill you may it never come near your body the sickness that will deteriorate your organs may it never come near your destiny and if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is having any planting in their body that is not by my God, I command it to jump out of your life. With these anointed hands, may you go back and lay them on the sick and watch mighty miracles happen by the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, and finally for tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, the grace that quickens your mind, then quickens your hand, then draws men to you to make for supplies in your life. In the name of Jesus, I place that grace on your head. I place that grace on your head. I speak to every financial bill that may be depressing you that is not giving you peace you are not able to sleep because there are needs that must be met this week I stand by the prophetic and the apostolic may my God raise strange help for you may my God raise strange help for you in the name of Jesus hear me anyone here who may have lost in business you've lost money you've lost clients you've lost opportunity in the name of Jesus I place a grace on you go back and excel for the sake of his name and for the sake of his kingdom go back and excel and there are many of you here while you sleep in the night the spirit of wisdom will come to you and open you up to strange strategies that makes for your rising in the name of Jesus Christ Koinonia hear me nobody under the sound of my voice will die before their time nobody under the sound of my voice will have to live their life begging for tea and bread every family here that is going through any kind of limitation in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I am praying let my God arise and help you and finally any human agent who has been ordained by God to help you and support you as you rise they may have forgotten you they may have been ill advised against you but I'm praying this week may my God use them to bring his word to pass in your life In the name of Jesus Christ therefore my dear people walk in this consciousness don't just share the grace and leave walk in this consciousness that I am anointed walk in this consciousness that I am God's battle axe walk in this consciousness that many destinies depend on me walk in this consciousness that I have received something that I must put to work and as you do that, you will see the God of wonder surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ.